hit his area with 51. Everything in the butterflies. Go get your man. And I feel like butterfly gonna be captain. So all y'all wanna know what happened. I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, etc., etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. You know who I be. Follow me on IG, Vada underscore fly. Tell your mama I say hi. Shout out to my brother, Showtime SP. All the people that watch this content, whether religiously or in passing, shout out to Ruin Your Day. I had this shirt. I was fucking with um this shirt that Avo had sent me a minute ago. I wore it before, but when you know the weather's getting nicer, I saw it. I was like, man, I like the Ruin Your Day joint. So I threw that on today. Shout out to Ruin Your Day. Um, and just everybody out there in battle rap um you know battle rap it be going up and down it be sometimes popping sometimes it gets a little slower so you know uh as far as content goes i don't like to force content so unless something's really relevant or something's going on like a battle's being announced or something's happening in the culture i'll be chilling you know what i'm saying and i de definitely let y'all know that i started school you know what i'm saying i'm in my mba i got class tonight actually so that's why i'm doing this vlog early i did do my homework and i just keep the people that rock with me abreast of what i got going on you know what i'm saying like that's just what it is and shout out to my brother showtime sp you know what i'm saying he was just by the other day too and all is well so uh let's get to what is going on so uh i did see <laughs> i did see or hear about what verb is talking about as far as j2 saying he didn't hit some guys in the culture, whatever the case may be. Now, Verb. What kind of shit is here? Verb is going on his rant tangent. I'm going to end it there. I don't really get involved with all of that. I don't. It's not. It's, 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 it's beyond my realm of not. I don't want any parts of it. So people have been hitting me, asking me to talk about it. Whatever J2 got going on with whoever is his business. And I'm not the one that's going to publicize it. I got my own kids, my own house, my own life. I ain't so uh, let's keep it moving. But shout out to J2. He definitely has Tay Rock battle coming up soon. And he's been cooking recently, too. He battled uh, Mr. Mills. He won. And he has some other joints. He's been cooking all year. Yeah, he's really been getting busy. So we'll see uh, what comes out of that. All right. Um, the topic at hand, the math problem. Like, you know what I'm saying? The the what's going on with Math Hoffa? Because when I see Math Hoffa's name in, in titles and in headlines, it's been a couple of blogs about it. I watched Chris Unbiased's blog yesterday. Shout out to him and all that he does. And I've seen some other people talking about it. I've seen Hip Hop is Real. Once you get the Hip Hop is Real and this shit like that, that's when it kind of makes my radar. You know what I'm saying? Hey, y'all, he, he, that's when it hit my radar. 15 minutes of fame, Hip Hop is Real. I start seeing it because they in my algorithm. Shout out to Easy the Black Captain, you know what I'm saying? He lost his mom not too long ago, you know, forever. At rest in peace to her and everything that he's got going on. The word algorithm pops in my mind. I thought his son. Um, so I'm seeing these titles in my in my in my in my algorithm, you know what I mean? Battle rap shit, and it's floating down my timeline. And it's talking about Math Hoffa, you know, he's going at three lettermen, going at Gerald McCoy and things like that. So I am being, I'm a neutral party, you know what I'm saying? I got no vested interest in anyone. I just call it how I call it so I can't spoil it. So when I think of all three entities, shout out to three, shout out to Math, and shout out to uh, Gerald McCoy. Um, they were in the spaces debating Math Hoffa's career, right? Whether he don't got as many kills, who he won, who he lost to. I'll tell you this, right? People can talk about but well, first of all, people can talk about whatever the hell they want. Let's just start there. Bloggers, every blog is independent. We don't work for companies. You can talk about whatever you want. You can be compromised by companies. You can be cool. You can do whatever you want. Whatever happens, you can do. It's your personal business. So let's start there, right? I'm never mad at what people talk about on their channel. Just leave me the fuck out of it. I don't want to brock because they're not. Stop! You know what I'm saying? Leave me out of it. I don't want to get to it. But what I'm saying is... Three Letterman has the ability and the right and responsibility to talk about whatever the hell that he wants. He can interview whoever he wants, he can ask whatever questions he wants. He doesn't owe any battle rapper a service, you know what I'm saying? Now, the thing is, if you closely align yourself, and I've learned this before, because when I first came into battle rap, you know what I'm saying, I'm real cool with Tay Rock, you know what I mean? Like, we, I've been to a couple of events, they've been out, we take a picture or two together, people assume that I'm in a battle rap group, right? You, as the blogger media entity have to do whatever it is to disassociate yourself it's not really we're not really closely associated no more i watch his battles i recap them but it's not like you're aligned with a person and you don't want that because if you're aligned with someone then they'll still consider you as compromised towards them and i'm not saying that any of this is is pertaining to this i'm just saying where it happened and what matt hoffa was talking about right so uh three is doing his thing he's talking about uh he's talking about matt hoffa's career whether it be ups, downs, and I've heard three give math props before because I feel like 
Butterfly gonna recap this and say boop to boop to boop. I feel like Mav doesn't feel the admiration, love, respect, or put on a platform or pedestal that he wants to be because he was the first, he was in the first battle on URL. The nigga was in the first battle, him versus T-Rex, that third round. <laughs> His name's Randy, just like one of my men's. He saved me, he cleaned the blood off my Timbs. When the cops, they stopped me, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, everybody remembers that. Matt Hoffa was in, he, he has a legendary third round versus T-Rex in one of the biggest battles. They yapped you and they was gone before you touched the floor. They found out it was fake, now they wanna fuck you up some more. Look what Brooklyn do, every time I look at you, I wanna put a fist knife bullet or foot in you. You know what I'm saying? Like, we, I, these are, these rounds that used to happen, real niggas hate your face more than them court dates. I probably could rap the whole verse if I wanted to, you know what I mean? But what I'm saying is, those days where we had battles that people digested and became classics are over. We're in a microwave era. So while Math did have the first battle on URL, he had a crazy little run. That first year run that he had, he got straight to Summer Madness. He battled Calico. Yes, he battled Calico, got smoked. There's nothing else to it. I've often heard Math in interviews saying, you know, if I get in the ring, I'm supposed to be ready. If I have my day, if this, that, and the third. Be the OG. No matter who you put in front of me, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be the OG. And if I'm in a good space, you're gonna get 100% of me. Mm. If I'm not, then you're gonna have a T-top situation. You're gonna have a Calico situation. You're gonna have that. And these guys are gonna walk off stage, even though they feel like, I got them. Mm -hmm. They're gonna, deep down, they feel like, I didn't really get him. Mm. You know what I mean? I hear you, but how do we know that? You know what I'm saying? Like, we, we can't really, um, really quantify that. So, Mav is taking extra exception to Three Letterman and Gerald McCoy discussing his career. People could say you wasn't a good battle rapper. People could say that if they want. Do I feel that way? No, I don't. I feel like Mav had a run. He did his thing. The Iron Solomon battle. I will never forget some of the battles that Mav had. Ars, uh, Pat Stay, uh, Sirius Jones, that whole situation. Um, Dose, that whole situation. There's a lot of things that's etched in battle rap that I would never forget. Verb, uh, all these joints. His his pursuit of the Sioux Surf battle, he can say what he wants, but with this, it's documented proof. Okay. Content-wise. I mean, you talk about business all the time, so why don't you do like a little class or something or vlogs? Or I would too. never help Mav be better at not, nothing. Well, not Mav, but you know, I guess mm -hmm. the, maybe the up-and-comers. What's up with you and Mav, man? What's the what's Yeah, the what's, what's, the, what's, the, what's the... I what's don't the, know, bro. I don't what's know, what's bro. Reason? I don't know. I came in... Because time I talk to Mav, I'll be like, why you always going to serve? What, what's the situation? I don't know. Yo, listen. <laughs> You could take no funny shit, bro. I just look up every day. It's a blog. Y'all know this. Come on, y'all bloggers. No, that's what We're going to be honest as men. Yes, yes, yes. So, like, y'all, we going to keep it tall. Like, I say you did. Y'all pull up boy. to me. Y'all pull up to me at the events and shit. What's up, sir? If you get an interview today, you know, Uncle Rod, like, what's up, sir? If you, you feel like doing interviews? Like, I don't yeah. just, you know what I mean? Hey, cut the cameras on and just yeah, bomb yeah, it. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, bro, yeah. you can find a dozen plus in like interviews where Math is taking a shot at Surf or saying something at Surf. What is Surf doing? If Surf is this bad, he ain't had rounds in this this long and he did what's the infatuation? Because I know some niggas out here doing good because this you all you also have a you have a blog. My expert opinion is a blog about the culture. That's what it's about. The culture's bigger than everything. So why you not shouting out how much Sean get crazy? Why you ain't shot out Nitty being one of the best punches in the life? Why you not talking about none of the positive? Fuck me. Just scratch my name out, period. You're not talking about none of the positive shit that's going You're not covering Queens, Queens versus King in the hole. The first time ever it ever happened. Shit like that. Like, I don't hear no blogs of you bigging shit up. You just got a hate blog. Why are you talking about surf? So that's why you're part of the reason I'm so fucking lit. You part of the reason. Because you're 38 years old. And you still, you make it seem like I'm what I am. I keep telling niggas that. I was 12 years old the first time I watched the math battle. That was 18 years ago. I went to high school at 12. That was 18 years ago. I'm now 30. I'm 30 years old and I run circles around what you was, what, what, what you was in before I ever even made it there. You was battling, you and Dose was damn near main event when I was 12 going on 13, freshman year in high school. I'm now 30 and you can't fucking step in the fucking building with me. Me and you ain't been in the same building in years. The same card in years, my nigga. Come on, that's an eighth, you're not like, mm. come on, bro, that's a six, that's, that's a that's a swing, my nigga. That's a bad, that's a bad swing, my nigga. To go from me watching you, to you can't, to you watching me, 
That's a bad swing, my nigga, for real. And I don't be like, I ain't got a million blogs. I don't like talking about that nigga because there's nothing to talk about. Yeah. Math has crashed numerous Sue Surf interviews. I mean, Tay Rock, I don't know what's going on. There's no hatred. But that was fast. Yeah. Oh, oh man. God. Is this, is oh, this, can this happen? Here we go. Can this happen? Here we Security! Go. Here we go. Security! Here we go. God, you trash. Here we go. You choke oh, every gosh. battle. Here we go. You're trash. It's an AP. Peace. It's all over Marvel. Yeah. This is a Rolex. Cause more than both of that. That's trash and fake. Cause more than both of that. That's fake. You trash. That's fake. I see. Look at this booty ass <laughs> nigga, man. Yo, oh see? god, this nigga, this nigga drove here from Brooklyn. I'm from the hood. Sit this nigga next to me. Give him a seat. Give him a chair. Oh my. Give him a chair. Give him a chair. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. I feel like Hold that up. damn you should fuck him up again and again and again Hold with that nigga Foxwagon. That nigga's a county nigga, man. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Hey, caller, yeah, man, listen. That, who, we got, who, who we that, got, we got to call you back, caller. Averb, my nigga. <laughs> hold on, I'm going to get my Hold up, my nigga. Hold For up. the record, Averb. I have no idea what was your reason again. What was your reason again? I'm trying to remember this. I'm trying to remember this. I want you to have my seat. Give him that, give him that, give him that. Hold up. <laughs> first off, first off, how you doing? How you doing? How you doing, son? Good to see you. I'm glad to see you. Glad you're alive and All right. healthy. All right. You look good. What's up, bro? Everything good? You good? Uh, you know, I, I heard, I'm, I'm you know, I heard some things back going on over here. Just got like... Come on. Yeah, Averb. That's the topic of conversation right now. Averb. Talk to me. You the interviewer. Have you Averb. <laughs> Maps the interviewer right now. Averb. Talk to me. All right, come on. You How did that me. happen? How did that happen? You was gunning for more. You said, what, what, what you said about me? What's I like, that like, shit? Like, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. First of all, I, pay, I Wait, paved you the, the way. Or you the... But you, but I you saying, that. you saying, I, I, the math is not dead, but you battling verb, my nigga? Bling, just, bling. Yo, that's my nigga, but he Every just got 3 0 right? Your city, bling, bling. He just got 3 0 <laughs> Uh-huh. He just got 3 0 He did. He got smoke. Yeah. He got smoke, bro. Yeah. So what's his status? What what's his status? It? Yeah, what's his status? What's his status on the What's his status, period? Verb status? You want to know? You just scared. Is that it? Wait, Keep what's, it real. What's that? Are you are you just scared you to, to battle hot? You came to talk. <laughs> <laughs> Is he just scared? Because he's not gonna answer my question. We just had this whole scared? conversation. Because you remember all the reasons that he gave, right? Okay. Okay. All right. Cool. Wait, you so what do you think? You talk to him or you talk to me? What do you think? <laughs> if y'all need, what do you think? Me, you not gonna go? give me a straight answer? So I could go. You not gonna give me a straight answer? Are, are the last answer me? you gave me, then you then you went with verb. Wait, I'm confused. Up, so talk to I'm me. confused. Talk to me though. <laughs> talk to me. All right. So what's the status? We gotta talk though. Once you say something, what's the status? Summer man is five right now. Woo! Summer man is five. What's they up? They don't got the bag for me. What's bro? up? Oh, they don't got the bag? They don't. You telling me Gracie got the bag? She do. <laughs> this nigga bugging. She do. You just wanted to go to Chicago, bro. She do. They said you got some family out there. You ain't know how you was gonna get there. They was like, you know what? We're gonna so, help you out. So so let me let me take over here for a second. I don't know, did, were you tuned in? Did you see some of it? I was tuned in, man. Okay. What are you talking about? Fuck, you got so, this shit on your app, on your iPhone. <laughs> Fuck, you got our heart so, radio. So, um, <laughs> we, he did say that he, he, he did say that you've done more than Murder Mook yeah, for Battle Rap. Yeah, shout out to yeah. yeah, we know that. Like, where's my I'll love? Clap for that. Where's my love? I man? said you did more than Murder Mook. They say he got. I said you did yeah. more than Mook for Battle Rap. Then that's so, a big thing. That's huge. Some of man is fine. What about it? They got the bag, man. No. All right, so call them. They got the bag. <laughs> is it going See, down the way? always just be talking and Is shit. it going so, down the so way? Is, you're saying that this is on surf? It's on surf. It's been on surf. It's been on surf. Mm. Boy, man. He, he going to fuck with Averb. Like. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? From 15 Minutes of Fame way, way, way back in the day, when Heavy Bags and them was doing a radio show, he crashed interviews back then. Uh, he crashed interviews when he was on URL on Caffeine. He's done that. Um, Math Hoffa, and I, like I said, I got no zero issue with Math Hoffa, and I hope I could dress well enough, you know what I'm saying? So if you get the dissing and shit, <laughs> shout out to him, you know what I'm saying? But if you get the dissing, uh, I will hope that I'm not one that's looking at him or hating on him. I have no reason to hate on Math. Math has done something with himself, and I got a lot of different avenues and ways that I want to go about this. And I want you to take, you know what I'm saying, take this thought into consideration, you know what I'm saying? Math went from the first battle rapper 
on URL, you know what I'm saying, one of the biggest names. Everybody said it in their blogs and things that they've been talking about. He was literally one of the star stars. He was one of the first ones. Him versus Rex was a huge moment in battle rap. And him and some of his other first battles, you know. But when he got to Calico, he got clipped. You know, New York was on the rise. Battle rap was at the forefront. Math was the new hot rookie at the time. I remember, you know what I'm saying? Because I met Math in like 2015, you know what I'm saying? So I've almost know I've known him for almost 10 years. And what I will say is this, you know what I'm saying? And I gotta keep telling you, in order to keep it a buck, I gotta be honest. I've been a lot of these places before I really like, you know, name got bigger and things, and I would always see Math. I seen Math at Proving Ground Battles. I seen Math at uh, when Av battled um, Rum Nitty. I seen Math at the Double Impact. Mad events that I could remember seeing Math because I was thinking like, yo, this is one of the, the veterans in our culture. You know what I'm saying? Math didn't get the love, the admiration, the respect, or the accolades that other people did. He watched the Sioux Surfs and everybody take off. You gotta remember, Math was here from the beginning. So you have the whole Wild and Out era that took off, got love, respect. Guys like Conceited, Charlie Clips, Hitman. Uh, you see Sue Surf taking off, doing different things. Murder Mook took off. All of the battle rappers. Math is probably the last of the original class that's really still relevant and known, you know what I mean? Cortez too. that really took a while to get love and respect from the, the, the big world, you know what I'm saying? Like. Uh, the expert opinion started when he started he was heavy battle rap it was all he was talking about a lot of battle rap subject he talked about surf a lot regardless of how Mav calls it or how he, he says it he talked about surf a lot and then he knew being because Mav does a lot of mental gymnastics he's a very smart person he's able to break things down talk about them quantify them why do you think my expert opinion is one of the biggest shows when it comes to hip-hop it's Joe Budden podcast Mav Hoffa you know what I'm saying all of these shows he had a huge beef with Tag Stone, who's doing 35 years in jail right now. And Math was really out there, one of them, you know what I mean? Like, and you can say what you want as far as the rapping skills. And then he came in with the thug, the bully persona, the look what Brooklyn do, almost the bully. He had the scar on his face and shit like that. And he represented New York well, he did. But what happened was, as battle rap grew, and became more commercialized uh, a term that I have called big stage bars big stage bars are bars that are necessary to rock big stages to the haymakers the punches the that was really what it took you know what I'm saying and math does have battles where he did get kind of crazy but when it came to the bigger names the bigger stars the bigger celebrities math's name never really made it after the calico battle now, the T-Top battle, right? It was another battle. I was there, actually. I was on stage, if you, if I look. Let's just in case. Bow! Nigga, that's for punching dose in the mouth. Bow! Nigga, that's for punching Joes in the mouth. Bow! Bow! That's for getting stolen in the mouth. In the footage, I can find myself. Math, I believe he had a baby like the day before, the day of, or something like that. It was, it was a lot going on, I'm not going to lie. But he still showed up to the battle, and that was the unfinished business. That was a pretty big card at the time. That was a pay-per-view card at the time, and it was a look. And T-Top wasn't at the T-Top level that. So this was, a this was a battle that people was looking at, like, really with a lot of eyes. And then you got 30 in that joint. And the thing about Math, like, I hear some of the stuff he talks about whether it be the battles and, you know, he 30 this person, 30 that person. I don't really see that, and I've watched damn near all of those battles, but I don't have you 3-0 in Charlie Clips. I don't have you 3-0 in Arsenal. I definitely don't have you 3-0 in Pat Stay. I don't have you. There's a lot of the battles that you be calling 30, 30, 30, 30 that I don't have like that, you know? So maybe some of his resume to himself has been over-embellished, but at the same time, his resume is second to none. John John, uh, Hollow, Verb, uh, you know, he's battled damn near all of the big names, you know what I'm saying, through his time. His last battle on URL was versus Akichi Gotti, you know what I'm saying, and then that was after the uh, situation with the whole Kiki thing, and you know, that was pretty much his whole angle for the whole battle and stuff like that. And I think Math had got to a point career-wise where he was just stuck in the mud as far as battle rapping was going because he wasn't going to go no higher, and the, the thing is, everyone knows, and I haven't even introduced 
the whole Sue Surf angle yet. You know what I'm saying? And this is my uh, this is my my honest opinion, <laughs> my unpopular opinion, <laughs> my regular nigga opinion, my I'm not a millionaire opinion. You know what I'm saying? I'm just giving it to you from my perspective, from seeing math, knowing math. I believe I have math's number two, but uh, he might have changed it a bunch of times. Like, you know, nigga, hey, hey, nigga, where you at? I'm trying to go. Let, let, I'm just trying to let you. I'm letting you know where you at. I'm trying to go. So this is not no hate from the bro. Um, so math, you know, as one of the forefathers, because like I said, he was there from the beginning. So that's a forefather type figure. He was the first battle on URL, whether you like him or not. The nigga was the first main event. What are you talking about? Uh, he quantifies things like World Star. World Star doesn't matter. I mean, in this frame time, I mean, it mattered back then, but that's not really a stat to bring up. You said you and Geechee had the highest viewed battle on caffeine or the app. Nobody cares. Caffeine and app, we don't care. Caffeine is not even here anymore. And the app barely releases shit we want to talk about. So there's that, right? So let's go further, right? Um, math made enemies with the biggest artist on the platform. They just put together man 40 before they get you or somebody that you really gotta, they ain't calling you for no bad legacy, rookies versus vets, none of these niggas is bad. I'm talking about bad content, bad material, bad raps. Mm. I'm not talking about bad niggas. Good fathers, good people. I'm talking about inside the culture of what they need to do. Right. It's no reason for Smack to spend his money to have math booked, because nobody's clicking that shit. It's a fact. So it's not, that's not, clickbait that's not you don't have to title this sue surf talks math you just put that can be said without anybody he don't have to see i even said this a fact it's a fact they don't have to it's certain like they know if he put math on a card math is now going to garner the garnish the views that the card was going to get period then you got certain niggas that if you put them you add surf to the card oh best believe a few thousand motherfuckers now is tuned in you add rock to the car, you add shine to the car, you add hitman to the car. These are people that want to watch specifically for these niggas. Math is not that type of, like, math does, does not, that's not math in the culture. He's making history on RBE, though, as far as, you know, jag bad. If you don't bleep that out, bro, this is a URL interview, my nigga. Nobody give a fuck about what's going on in RBE. When a nigga ever got 30, then his credit went over to the grand scheme of things. Name a 30 that mattered on RBE. Him and Hollow. Yeah. Him and Hollow don't count? Not to me. I mean, you gotta get in where you fit in, and you know, it's no, you know. Not to me, I'm gonna be honest. Yeah, yeah I understand. I'm gonna be saying, honest. But... Like, I'm gonna be honest. Like, I don't really, really, I don't really recall. Like, I'm gonna be honey, I don't recall. I don't recall, bro. Mm. I don't recall. I'm keeping it tall. I don't recall, bro. If it don't happen in the league, it ain't happen. Shouts out to my man ARP. Love him to death. If it don't happen, it ain't happen, bro. I don't recall, like cool. I'm saying name some shit that matter, bro. Anything that happened on the URL, it changes the texture of. If Mook dropped the ball, Rock is now woo woo woo. If Mook, Ver, beat Mook, that didn't matter. Why didn't it matter? What was missing? i tell you what was missing. The stage. I'll tell you what was missing. Mook fall on URL. Feel like Verb and Lux was a de definitely mattered on a whole different level. Listen, back to the topic. <laughs> these niggas don't, these niggas be bad content-wise. Okay. Content-wise. I mean, you talk about business all the time, so why don't you do like a little class or something or vlogs? Or I would too. never help math be better <laughs> not, at nothing. Well, not math, but you know, I guess mm -hmm. the, maybe the up-and-comers. You know, I've heard math say Surf could go mess up in two, three battles. And first of all, free Sue Surf, you know what I'm saying? Nothing I'm going to say is to down him, take away from him. We all know his situation. I rock with Surf. Um, you know what I'm saying? I spoke to him before he left and things like that, and I hope all is well with him. You know what I mean? So I, this is no hate towards him either. But I, if I'm talking about battle rap, I can talk about all phases of the, of the situation. So um, you got Sue Surf, right? He at the time was not just the biggest named battler on URL. He was the face of the brand. Sue Surf being removed from a brand. This is the, this is how you know superstars because we was talking about. It. I want to talk about superstars in sports real quick right because surf you know it's like that tuck your elbow and it's like basketball right we, we got to give some love to surf you know what i mean and this is a longer blog i ain't been blogging all week let me get through this to get to this right so surf is what you would consider a superstar right he is a superstar he can drive a car he can push the brand he can talk for the uh for the league 
He can make a lot of money. People want to be him. He makes music. He promotes better than most. And, you know what I'm saying, every now and then he'll show up with three rounds, right? So when you put all eight of those components in one pot, it's the creations of a superstar, right? So, Mav didn't have the likability of a Sue Surf. The fans didn't clamor towards him. And then when you become an enemy of Sue Surf, he's doing interviews that have 100,000 views. Now, I know a lot of y'all might not care about the analytics and how things work in a digital world, but that means a lot. 100,000 people are watching Sue Surf talk about you for 10 minutes, and he ain't stopping. And it's over and over because Math was making views and a platform grow where he was talking about Sue Surf on My Expert Opinion. My Expert Opinion starts to take off. Cortez was on there in the beginning. Knowledge was on there in the beginning. They kind of like fizzled off. Now he's doing the entertainment thing. Boom, takes off. All kind of big name guests on there. Hopefully he gets Eminem on there one day. And then um, I was watching his, uh, his Spaces joint and he said something, this is what the math problem was for me. He said something about three, like he's been trying to get an interview for two years, right? And here's my thing, right? In battle rap, if you interview people, that's your job. You're supposed to be trying to get an interview, you know? If math looked at things the way he should, he should be wanting to interview with three because three interviews with everyone and he's the one that helps push narratives, not narratives in a bad way, but every time something happened, he gonna have the person on his shit talking to him. You should want an interview with him so people know what's going on with you, you know what I'm saying, or what's popping, how you, how you looking at things and yada, yada, yada. But you're viewing it as he's thirsty or yada, 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 but when Matt, I'm gonna be honest with you, you could have used that. That would have been a dope interview for people to hear what you had going on with yourself. But you looked at it as a way to turn your back, strut your shoulders, and let him know that I'm bigger than you. And then you talked about how he dresses and things. Who cares? Who really, at the end of the day, who cares? Three didn't come into the game saying that he was gonna be the best dressed nigga in this, that, and the third. I didn't either, you know what I'm saying? I hope I, <laughs> I'm about to fly, but I mean, hopefully I put some shit on. Some people like the way I throw on shit, some people don't. But at the end of the day, I do it for me. And I'm sure Three does what he does for himself. It doesn't matter. And then you were talking about Gerald McCoy and he never got a ring. Bro, are you serious? A six time Pro Bowler that's worth $100 million. There's nothing a nigga on YouTube could say that's gonna make me look at him another way. Ooh, that was smooth. Ooh! There's nothing a nigga on YouTube gonna say to make me look at that man another way. He come in the battle rap, put money in. Nigga worth $100 million. I know you got a couple million, you know what I'm saying? I've been hearing you've been doing good. I, I, I wanna get a couple million. Trust me, I'm grinding. We want my grinding, nigga. We want. What I wanna tell you is this. Don't. Use your gifts or what God's blessing you with as a way to shit on other people. Because the same way it comes is the same way it can go. You know what I mean? That It does happen like that. You don't have to shit on, on other niggas like, oh man, uh, he can't dress or oh, he ain't one. But bro, come on, bro. That, that's not even necessary. And I understand that you might not like the way some people view your career or they would quantify it or they would talk about you. Like me, personally. Like I said, I feel like Math is a forefather of this game, a certified veteran, one of the top 50 MCs ever. Had some groundbreaking battles, groundbreaking moments. The joint with Louis XIII, putting him under the wing, making him apologize. The, the pistol whip with the mook. The nigga's Math is fucking eternal. But is he the most liked figure? Absolutely not. A lot of people, you know you got a lot of people that don't like you. We all got people that don't like us. But that doesn't change my aspect or viewpoint of battle rap. No, it's fuck them. So what? Life goes on. But I must say this, right? So the Sue Surf thing takes off, you know what I mean? Like Surf is your main enemy, you know? He's downplaying everything that you got going on. You battle on Rare Breed. When does a battle over there count? Rare Breed don't count. Surf was so influential, he was able to go against a whole other company and hold it down. <laughs> Smack didn't have to talk for himself. Beasley didn't have to talk for himself. He did, but it was awkward whenever he does. Nobody else is gonna talk for them. Who else is gonna? Who else they got over there? <laughs> we all know the fucked up shit he do. So you know we we can't even count him. He's a worker. Get him out of here. But they have nobody else. Surf was the nigga. And when you remove him from that situation, and he can no longer speak for the brand, look at the last year of him. It's no fallacy that that shit wasn't as crazy as it used to be. He wasn't there. 
He wasn't there to push the brand. He wasn't there to make people believe in it. He wasn't there to do damage control when it was a bad event. He wasn't there to talk shit about other leagues even when he wasn't, you know what I'm saying, at the top of his game. He wasn't there, he's not here. You no, know? free to God, but this is the truth. Like, yo, Math, you're doing amazing with yourself. You got a phenomenal platform. You're doing millions of views. You're getting the biggest interviews. Everybody's rocking what you got going on. You to a point now when you come to URL events, you got security. People look at you wrong for that. But listen, I don't. I, I understand. Now I don't, I don't know if I would have had him in the venue and all that because I go to a lot of battle rap events too. But I'm nowhere near where you are. But I understand taking care of yourself and making sure you're good because at the end of the day, you get into an altercation that's millions of views, your, your brand, your platform, your sponsorships, all that. So if I'm making millions, I pay a couple hundred or thousand to make sure things make sure, you know what I'm saying? That, that, that's not bad. But you're at that point where you can do it now is what I'm saying. Don't get there, have designer on and shit on a nigga who talked about your career. I don't even have to listen to Three's whole joint with Gerald and them, you know what I'm saying? It was like an hour or something, I don't have to listen to all of that. I know for a fact, that even if he says you don't have a lot of kills, okay, you don't have a lot of kills. Uh, you know, you, you might not be this, you might not be that, but so what, you made it. You're not even in the position to work no more. And you said things like, they don't deserve me, bro. <laughs> Cause the verb asked you, would you battle again? And you said something like, this culture don't deserve me and this, that, at the math. You gotta get off of that shit, my nigga. Like if niggas never seen you battle again, and so be it, you know? You built your own platform, you had the Legends Only joint, I recapped all of them. I recapped the Nicky Jam, I recapped the fucking uh, Method Man, hit a lick with swords and all of that, I recapped all of that. Method Man joint did crazy, I think I did 100,000 views off that. My nigga, <coughs> my nigga, that was, <laughs> shout out to you for that. Let me, let me, you know what I'm saying? Let me, Mad versus, let me see what Mad Hava versus, uh, versus, <laughs> Method Man did. That was a great motherfucking video for me. I know it was. I remember. That shit was crazy. You did great with that. You know what I mean? I ain't gonna lie. Let me see. 120,000. You did 1.8 with math. We did great. I even got the motherfucking uh, Wu-Tang shirt on. This was from three years ago. I hit a lick with swords. That was fire. But that don't mean that you are uh, above criticism or you're above scrutiny or you're above your career being debated. You're not above that. Sorry, it just doesn't work like that. There's no battle rapper that's above their career. People talk about Mook, people talk about uh, Rex, but see the thing is, that's the, they, don't have, they don't put Mav's name in the conversation of the greats. That's what it is. For whatever reason, you know what I'm saying? He, has, he had a solid career, he has a great resume, doesn't lose a lot of battles, but for a combination of a lot of different things, he's not put in that category of Mount Rushmore conversations and things like that. But there's a way to have a solid career and, and be past that. But you can't just think that somebody says just because they're talking about your career that they're hating on you or they don't like you or whatever the case may be. We gotta, we gotta get past that, man. I know, I know it's difficult. You know what I'm saying, but. You doing phenomenal, my nigga. You you do you're an inspiration. <laughs> nigga, I can't wait for the day I can get away from this shit and I ain't got to do this everyday grind, grind, grind of this bullshit. Bro, what? <laughs> so be blessed, man. Be blessed out. Try not to stay stressed out, man. Hoffa. I had to speak on it, you know what I'm saying? Because uh I heard what you were saying. I'm like, come on. Don't miss the mark. You doing good, my nigga. Boom, 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 boom. Cover up, nigga. But anyway. Shout out to my expert opinion. Shout out to Mad Pop. It's your man Vada Fly. We know what the fuck going on, gang. I feel like Vada Fly gonna recap this and say, God, he caught a 30 down road. So all y'all wanna know what happened. I'm gonna tell you what happened. He, he got, got smoked. smoked. Crazy. 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 Crazy.